And then as a spur of the moment thing, Diana said to me, but Prince Charles is a member of the Watercolor Society, oh, isn't he? Oh my. And he was. Uh, Prince yeah. Charles is an honorary member of the Canadian Society of Painters and Watercolor because he has this lifelong interest in the medium. So she said, why don't you invite him as your guest? <laughs> of said, course. Yeah. Why didn't you think Oh yeah, no, I went, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a school teacher is going to think of inviting the Prince of Wales. Anyway, I followed through on her suggestion uh, and mentioned that we were going to have a reception at Canada House. That was for us. And so here we were, the 15 artists and the president at the time, Neville Clark, myself as the organizer. And, um, uh, and it was really fun because we all arrived. 13 of the artists, I think, actually were on hand for the handover. We arrived at Canada House and um, checked in with Diana Jervis Reed the day of, and um, sh so we were given instructions on how to behave, how to curtsy and bow and to greet the Prince of Wales, and wow. <laughs> uh, then we were all instructed to move into this grand reception room overlooking Trafalgar Square where the paintings were all hanging. And uh, I can still remember walking towards the door, because obviously the, the artists involved were the stars, and I, I was one of the old timers in the first collection. I stood back for a while, made sure they were all in. And Neville Clark, the president, and myself were walking towards the doors into the reception room. And this RCMP officer, grandly attired in scarlets, said, you're Mr. Batten? And I said, yes. He said, well, you have to wait here. And I started protesting because I thought, no, no, I have to be in the room because the doors were going to be closing. And he said, no, you're the host. And it was, and I suddenly realized they had stuck to the formality of the thing. The prince was there or not. And it was really funny. And everybody started laughing because I was the guest of the high commissioner. But the Prince of Wales was, was my guest. guest. Oh, Tony. Yeah, so <laughs> it was very, yeah, it was sort of highly amusing. Wow. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we, my greatest memory was just, I think the funniest thing, any immigrant would understand this was, so the doors were closed and I was standing on the outside and I could hear this party getting underway and glasses being, you know, <laughs> tinkered and all this sort of stuff and the buzz of conversation and then all of a sudden there's a lot of fuss behind me. The cars had pulled up outside and Prince Charles came in with his entourage and Charles and I, Charles and I were introduced to each other. We stood chatting for a while and uh, it was neat sort of standing there yeah. seeing, yeah, the back, behind the scenes sort of thing. He has some charming mannerisms apparently because he doesn't he can get overwhelmed by all the handshaking, so he had a cup of tea ready, and he circulates with a cup of tea oh. in his hands, or he plays with his cufflinks, mm. keep his hands out of other people's hands. Charming, charming man. Anyway, we were going through the introductions, what should happen, this sort of thing, and we were told that we had 40 minutes or something with the Prince of Wales to circulate and meet the artists. And while this is going on, Everything is, of course, to the second we hear from the other side of the door, you know, the bang of the door and somebody getting the attention of the crowd. And we heard this voice going, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, the princess, you know, his royal highness, the prince of Wales and party. <laughs> and the doors flew open. <laughs> and all I could see immediately in front of me was a very dear uncle of mine who didn't think that anything of worth ever happened outside of the British Isles and he suddenly sees his nephew come through the door chatting in laughter with the Prince of Wales both drinking tea out of our, and as we walk into the room and my, my uncle's mouth just his jaw just dropped and uh, it was a wonderful moment that I cherish you know if, you know revenge of the colonists but yeah. oh,